So for today's video, we're going to try out the new Love Song Bow, which is currently available in the event store for 1680 gold. Dashing Hawk is also available for 2800 gold, and we'll get some gameplay of him tomorrow. But there's his standard and commander perk. Really going to be good when it comes to dealing damage with lefty and righty. Anyways, here's what the Love Song Bow looks like up close. Sort of looks like a harp, a little bit. And the perks that came with it were reload speed, crit damage, energy damage, and damage to stun, stagger, frozen, or knock down targets times too. And at the top it says keeping a bow drawn past max charge will fire an arrow that stuns the enemy for 10 seconds. Weapon damage will break this effect, and it doesn't affect bosses or enemies that have recently been love struck. So you'll be able to put any element on it. You can have up to two crit damage perks on it, and you can also have two damage to stun perks on it. But the role we're going to use while we get gameplay with it is two crit damage perks, physical crit rating, and damage to stun. And at the very bottom it says sniper rifle bow, fires an arrow that drops over time, damage range and velocity increase with charge time. And we're going to use Stoneheart Farah throughout the gameplay. But the loadout we're going to use while we test it is Rabbit Raider Jonesy as our commander with the totally rocking out team perk. And for our support team we have Crossbones Barrett, Redline Ramirez, Main Stage Quinn, Breakbeat Wildcat, and Swamp Knight. And the mission we're going to do is this power level 132 repair the shelter and cookies is going to be helping us out. <gasps> no! Shit! Ain't what I accidentally made it into obsidian, son of a bitch! Rip. Fuck! Get some F's in the chat. Fuck! 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 Cookie, bruh. Fuck! We've all done it, Cookie. It's happened to all of us. So before we get to the gameplay, I do want to show an example of what the 10 second stun looks like. And we're going to try it with this blaster. So that's what it looks like when they're stunned. There's little hearts on them. And they stay stunned for 10 seconds. And that actually lasted a long time. Another thing I want to do is I want to see if traps will cause him not to be stunned. So let's go. Oh, he died. Oh, then I died. Oh, we're all dying. Okay. So yeah, it doesn't look like traps actually stop them from being stunned. Only weapon damage will. Let's see. Oh, I just shot him in the... <laughs> oh, okay. Where'd it go, everyone? Shooting them in their, in their vajayjays. You know what that reminds me of? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing, buddy? I don't know. Uh, it does work on mimics. What is she doing right now? Look, she's two stepping. <laughs> we're dancing. What do you expect? What is she doing? Oh, it did stun him. <gasps> he stunned cookies. Look at him. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, it did. It can't stun smashers. I thought it said it did it. I thought you said it did it. Well, it said not Smash bosses. Oh, okay then. All right, so yeah, apparently it can work on smashers as well. Oh my God, dude! I just want to see how much damage we deal so low. 1.9 million. And it only took us two arrows to kill the power level 132 smasher. We almost one shot him though. Oh, we were able to one shot the blaster and we did 2 million damage that time. And you'll also be able to one-shot takers with it. 1.3 million. And we were able to two-shot an elemental smasher using a love song that had the energy element on it. There you go. Oh, what a shot! I do want to see if it goes through the shield or shield. And, wait, did it? I don't think it did. No. Okay. So it doesn't penetrate through the shield or shield. Let's go ahead and try it on these huskies as well. Oh, you will be able to kill floaters without setting off the propane. All right. Well, let's go ahead and find the modules. Oh, there's another one. Those missing construction bots. And another one. Let me see if I can send some help. It might take a few minutes. Let's see if Cookies finds any this time. Yep, I found one. I got one. What are you talking about? Ah, you got one. So, Cookies uh, was able to find a couple modules this time, people. <laughs> That's right! I found a module! A module has been installed. The shelter is now stronger. Oh, there's another one. How many more do we have left? Two more? 
yeah. I One more. So. I'm, just looking, I'm trying to see if there's any more. My God, it's hard to find! Go find Seabot. Oh, I've found one. Location on the map. GG. He's getting better. You've been practicing? Uh, not much, but, you know, I, I, I tried a couple All things. When this happens, hey, our build looks fight. pretty cool from over here. Yeah, I know, I like it, I like it. It looks nice. How do you get up there? Takes four it's minutes. like a little fortress. Damn, we still got six minutes till it starts. Wow, that was quick. We, we found them too quick, Cookie. <laughs> they need to make this like a background See, music. The charge is running out. Hurry up if you want to use the scanner. They just need to make this as a background music too. Look at Grandpa, he's checking me out. Grandpa, what are you doing, dude? He's trying to he's trying to Quit, get, he's trying to give it to you. Poking me <laughs> with your arrow, bro. He's trying to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, man. Yo, Grandpa, don't get too freaky up in here. What kind of stuff was that? Like, look, he's, look, he's uh, looking at you. Look, look, he's looking at you. I'll put Grandpa on you. you what? You grandpa ain't gonna do attack. squat. Ooh. I get Grandpa. Grandpa, go get. Why is he staring at me though? I don't like that. <laughs> he's like, look, well, you see this? Yeah, I see it. I see it. I saw it. Why the hell are you staring at me, Grandpa? You're making me uncomfortable, man. <laughs> he's like, I like what it's... I see. Look, the girl's not staring, but he is. Grandpa. I'm telling you, man. Grandpa be like, I like what I see. Quit being a creeper, Grandpa. Oh, man. This is making me uncomfortable, man. I'm about to unsummon your ass. <laughs> Here they come. Oh, okay. Defend the shelter. Oh, we got fire Here on this go. one. Yep, I'm going to put down some traps real quick. Yeah, I'll just be right here watching you. <laughs> And I want to try to stun and get as many kills with our bow and arrow. So let's just hang out here. And we did go ahead and change our loadout because I wanted to try it with... Oh, look at that. I wanted to try it with Stoneheart. Nice. Honestly, like with the explosions, I feel like she's the best bow hero. So that's why we went ahead and changed our loadout. Plus, I didn't get any coconuts, I don't think. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, did you see that? <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just got pushed back. <laughs> he just backed up. <laughs> okay, Smasher. But I did, let's go ahead and use a, one of these. There we go. How are you getting swarmed already? Much better. Look at that. Doing much more damage. So, when it comes to the love song bow, I think it's the best bow in Save the World at the moment. Because for one, we dealt over 2 million damage solo, and- Oh, mini boss is out, Kiki. The only time we've done- Oh, he's trapped vulnerable. No, that is- That is so unfortunate. Give it everything you got, man. Put some traps in there. I got this area right here. Alright, I'll get him. Yep, I got this area. Hopefully he don't kill me. Stay hey, well, just place traps everywhere, man. I, I, I'm trying to maintain a, a sustainment in here. Yeah. Uh, just go ahead and get everything else. I'll I'll try to focus on this guy over here. All right, I'm gonna pop this up. real quick. So obviously, uh, we we're not able to test it on this mini boss because. He's a uh, trap vulnerable, unfortunately. <laughs> oh man, he broke everything. Yeah, he did. Sorry. I can't even build. Eliminated. Oh, he's almost dead though. He's almost dead. Where where are you going? Come back here. Not this time. Come back here. He's almost dead. Are there we guys, go. I got him. Are you guys, are you guys canoodling in there? No. He's dead. Okay. He's dead. He probably died from the canoodling. So how's the base looking? He probably tore everything up. Uh, <laughs> ah, it broke. Uh, don't worry about it. They're not even getting close. So yeah, the only reason we chose this mission was because I wanted to use it against the mini boss, and we just failed horribly at that. But. Like I was saying, we dealt 2 million damage with it, and the only other bow we dealt that much damage with was the black metal bow. With the black metal bow, it takes away your health, 
and you can only choose between two different elements on it so that's why i prefer this one over the black metal bow the charge speed was also pretty decent i like how you can stun mist monsters with it which i think has potential to be really useful when it comes to certain events so yeah in my opinion i would consider it to be like a top three probably like a top two bow in save the world I could definitely see myself using this one, especially with Stoneheart Pharah. I feel like you're gonna want to use it with her. Oh no wonder I kept calling her Pharaoh. <laughs> oh, her name is not Pharaoh Cookie. I must be thinking about Egyptian mythology. All right, so we got a level four loot chest with some Survivor XP gold and legendary perk up. We also got some more gold for killing the mini boss, as well as some storm shards and lunar tickets. And we also got some reperk and epic perk up. But yeah, for those of you who have tried it, let us know what you all think about it. Hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.